Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I'd take another look at the workshop and see what was out there. And uh, man, man, lots and lots and lots of really cool stuff. Uh, I couldn't cover it all again, um, but there I grabbed some, grabbed some. So to start with here, we've got this really cool looking uh, ship here by Annie Noame. It is called the White Blade, and it is uh, a bit of a sword, kind of. Uh, got some really cool aesthetics going on here I'm just kind of taking a look at the uh, the top side of it right now we'll take a look at the rest of it here now from looking at the screenshots too with its front weapon uh, assembly it really looks like it kind of creates almost like a sword like a electric sword kind of thing on the front of it because it's got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, firepower and some weapons that I don't exactly know what they do yet, and that's uh, that's definitely on me. It's uh, these positron um, turrets and things. Not everywhere, but uh, yeah, check this out. Got like 12 of these uh, suckers over here. Let me get the uh, multi-tool out here. So yeah, these uh, positron beam cannons. Um, so that makes this uh, big line here, and then look at uh, look at the spacing on all these side turrets here. The very front ones are uh, oh, these are even uh, special. They're heavy cannon turrets, they're not just regular cannon turrets. And then a whole bunch more of these going along uh, both sides here. And when everything's firing, it it uh, has a really cool look to it. It just uh, these make I think like more of a red beam. Um, and it kind of looks like some kind of like electric uh, laser sword kind of thing and it's uh really really cool i'm just kind of admiring the aesthetics on the uh the ship here looks really cool looks uh quite powerful too now this is definitely one that's going to be needing um quantum cores and things like that and it says that as soon as you walk in the uh the hangar i did see that already when i uh, walked in the, in the ship to park it um but yeah, I really love some of this stuff. I love uh, these uh, these thruster uh, assemblies over here. That looks really cool, the way that's done up um, all around the thruster there. Almost looks like some kind of jet engine. Um, pretty slick there. And on the inside ones, using the, uh, the angled uh, thrusters there. Got the big hanger off the back. Uh, some more uh, big thrusters over here. It's got a lot of uh, thrust power going on it as well. Uh, also, it has a lot of solar, but I believe in this case, I'll have to uh, take a, a little bit better inspection, but I think most of the uh, solar is not visible from the uh, outside of the ship. Um, but they they work that way, so it's not a, it's not, it's not a thing, um, at least in Reforged Eden. Now, this is definitely a Reforged Eden ship. Uh, most of the ships I'm looking at today are, except for one. Um, I believe, and I'm not even 100% sure if it's not uh, for Reforged Eden. Um, we'll take a look at the specs on that. But yeah, really, really cool. Really cool. I, uh, I like all these uh, turret positions like this, too. These uh, ones that kind of hang over the edge, and also the, uh, the coloring here. It's using a pretty bright uh, white tone uh, mixed with a pretty dark tone. And it's a nice, nice look. I, I love that uh, white and black and there's some grays in here too like uh, this section over here um, and this uh, this is pretty cool too how the uh, the name is inset under like half block glass um, over this this uh, stretch here and that that does look pretty neat and I like that too yeah it's a very very cool looking ship here it looks very powerful too I gotta say well uh, let's take a look at what our base fall material is here before we go inside it looks like we're running the hardened steel here. I'm just kind of going to check way up front. Okay, so it looks like we're uh, hardened steel, I would say, mostly. Now, there could be some differences on the interior. Um, and maybe there is. I'll, I'll uh, once I uh, tour the ship here, I'll uh, try to fly through the front end of, of it to see, uh, see what's going on in there. Let's put away the multi-tool and hop in here. Ah, nice, nice. Here, let me do the lighty thing here a minute too. See, uh, see what we look like at night here. Nice, nice. I like this. So, yeah, wood grain mixed into the uh, the mix. That's kind of a nice look, uh, with the whites, blacks, and the uh, the wood grain. It's kind of like your third accent color. 
and that uh, that is that is pretty slick nicely detailed hanger here I like all the uh, the side stuff going on here so we got some embedded fuel tanks over there some cargo ah, so, ah even the cargo boxes I have oh look at these big LCDs I go all custom fit to fit that like cargo box that is really cool nice yeah that's uh this looks custom for the ship I would say I've never seen this LCD before and it's all named and everything I'm pretty sure Annie uh, created that and here's the rundown here to uh, so you need uh, 10 auxiliary cores and 10 quantum cores which is now the limit for reforged in okay so that's that's good to know on my part too I heard this I think once before but yeah there is a limitation now on how many uh, aux and quantum cores you can put in something so you can't um, necessarily have a ship with like 300 turrets in it any longer um, because yeah you, you'll still run out of CPU even in uh, Reforged Eden with the uh, quantum cores and auxiliary cores um, it's not a big deal because I mean the, the 10 of each of these that's a lot of CPU um, yeah and I, and I really like the way you did this uh, these storage boxes over here too I love that it's it's clean it's nice it's you know what's in it. You could probably change in the in the uh, the sensors look like they're right here too. So we could uh, see how complicated this would be here. If we wanted to change the name of maybe what the contents was in there. Okay, so let's just uh, store it. So we're gonna say we're gonna we're gonna put in our food <laughs> uh, foods. Yeah, foods. Why not? I didn't mean to hit that S there, but ah, uh, see that that's cool. I like that. Um, I may uh, adopt something like this myself to uh, uh, trying to make these things so you could uh, quickly and change uh, what they say in game and have the uh, the rest of the uh, display still intact there too. That looks really cool. Definitely like this. And then personal ammunition weapons. Oh, I like how that's all sorted and organized too. Very cool. All right, well, I'm going to start here and go through this door here and see where we're at. Uh, leads us to oh nice well, looks like we've got some uh, deconstructors over here uh, on off switch for the section oh that's cool so that like turns on everything I like how this is done too that's just a piece of glass with the uh, those blocks and how it's textured on the side there the uh, the white beams look pretty cool with the uh, the white texture there kind of looks like a it's almost like it's its own part there and we got a uh, storage bay over here. It looks like a 320k uh, deconstructor input. Makes a lot of sense since it's sitting next to a couple deconstructors. So on the other side here, it looks like we've got some... Uh, oh, that's cool too. Yeah. Want to play with these switches here. No, that's cool. Um, Video feed. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, I, yeah, I know the uh, the, the, the uh, new constructor models. That that is pretty slick there. And then over here we've got a constructor input at 320k. Very organized. Um, ammunition controller on this side. Did we have one over here too? Yep. So a couple 320k ammos. Uh, definitely needed for this uh, this kind of ship with this many uh, weapons on it. And uh, oh wow, look at this. Walking into some uh, industrial stuff over here. Oh, look at all these uh, CPU blocks stacked up against the wall here. Another ammunition control over here at 320. Oh, it's running one of the, the big boy uh, power generators there. Look at that thing. That's cool. Yeah, so the, the big 5x5x5 five by five by five, uh, generator. I have yet to build a ship. Well, I haven't built any bigger uh, ships lately uh, since a lot of these new parts came out and uh, or maybe I have I just was building smaller ships but yeah <clears throat> I definitely want to use one of these sometime kind of has that Star Wars uh, feel going on too, the way some of these uh, uh, this stuff is kind of built up and it looks like we're uh, running some other uh, neat parts in here uh, shield charger couplings and uh, all kinds of stuff going on in here so what's up over oh wow what what am I looking at here shield charger array wow that looks cool look it's spinny thing a spinny thing oh that looks so cool 
Wow, there's got more than one of those things too. Holy smokes. Yeah, this thing's uh, fully taken advantage of a lot of these new parts. And look at all this stuff. It looks foreign to me. It almost looks like a game I'm not familiar with. And what in the heck is going on with this lighting effect stuff going on here? Is that something that is part of the part? Or is that something that is in here like a LCD-like uh, display that's turning on and off? I don't know, whatever it is, that is pretty cool. I gotta say, that is pretty cool. Look at that. That is a beast. Just like some of these other parts in here. That is that is cool. And laser, laser shield charger. Or, I'm sorry, large shield charger. Okay, not laser. Um, wow. Very cool. So, let's get out of that room. Oh, we already been in here. And let's take the hallway forward. Oh. And then it looks like we get into a uh, hangar space here. Oh, we already been in here. I just went backwards. That's what I did. Okay, so let's keep on going through this way. And let's see. Does this... Uh, looks like this way. I, I like this little walk path that goes right underneath this uh, with the glass. That is uh, that is pretty cool. It looks like it just... Uh, looks like we're probably at the front of the ship over here. So maybe that's the deal. So let me get back out and find a... Uh, like a central elevator here, like over here. Okay, this this looks like what I'm looking for. Let's go down a second, see where we end up at. Ah, quick exit over here. Okay, so right off the ship that way, and uh, and up over here. Looks like we are looking at a uh, pilot seat, and uh, yeah, the big uh, the big. I believe that's the power generator, right? Yeah, fusion reactor. Yeah, the uh, the the new. Uh, the new big uh, power generator as far as I know one of these counts as four of the uh, uh, the advanced uh, uh, two by six by two uh, generators so technically um, I think that would take up a little bit less space or maybe it makes more power than four I'm not exactly sure but yeah it is a big power generator probably a little bit more efficient overall but probably expensive at the uh, at the startup over here I'll look at this we've got a nice looking crew area lit differently different textures uh, all of a sudden kind of like like you walk into a kind of a fancy uh, building more of almost like a bit of a museum or something that, that's cool that's cool museum is probably off but yeah no that looks cool I like how the uh, the thin walls are done and it almost looks more like uh, like drywall you know uh, painted uh, with different lighting scheme over here nice and let me guess, let's go to the other side here. And over here, oh, looks like a bunch of uh, utility stuff. So we've got some uh, our food processors and fridges. Well, a food processor and fridges, shower, medical area. Uh, so, all right, so we got all our extended medical parts, medical bay right there, plus food. Nice. So yeah, I don't think this thing any, uh, has anything to do about farming. I think that's not really a, a thing with this ship. It is a uh, overall a uh, combat ship, and it does have a pretty good sized hangar back here to park some stuff too. Um, nice, nice. Well, anyway, here I I'm really curious. I'm going to fly through the hall a little bit here, and I want to see what's going on, especially on the front of this uh, these combat ships. I do like to check that out. So, okay, yeah, that's what I was suspecting. Here we've got some Xeno. And it looks like they're kind of set up in a bit of formation. Um, now I was kind of wondering about this. It makes sense, too. It's pretty deep into the ship. Kind of uh, backed up behind a lot of this stuff here. And obviously, if it wasn't trying to be, um, you know, uh, tough on the front. And, I, and it, it's, I'm sure the front's built to uh, take, some, take some hits. But yeah, you could probably get more interior space um, in the ship for sure. But yeah, this is it's a combat ship, and you want it to be tough. Now, as in the the uh, solar panels, uh, I believe they are um, down. And God, where did I see those? Yeah, over here. Um, and they're actually uh, this is all Xeno around that too. Here, let me get the lights back on here. Um, so yeah, it's got. Uh, I'm not sure how many solar panels. I think it said on the uh, 
on the uh, blueprint uh, description on the uh, on Steam's workshop. Uh, but it was a lot of solar panels, I think, too. So solar operated fusion generator, uh, big time weaponry, uh, spaced out really nice, uh, reinforced, uh, a lot of shield boosters and things going on, um, plus a lot of uh, a lot of firepower and some guns. I don't even exactly know how they work. I don't think I've ever had an advanced anything kind of gun on anything I've used in game yet. So um, I imagine some of these might be uh good ways to go i gotta look up these guys uh these seem to be on here a lot so uh i have a, I have a feeling that they probably were good <laughs> yeah really cool i like uh again on the uh the the block and structures i do like how this is done on the inside over here too uh the uh extra block work going along here it looks really slick but anyway very very cool ship uh again by annie noem the white blade um yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a, a late game ship, and you're gonna need a lot of uh, you know obviously quantum cores and auxiliary cores and things like that for it. Let's take a look at its uh, specs here. Um, so we got a 34 hour and 33 minute build time. Um, obviously, it's gonna use a lot of estrium and zacosium, hence end game ship. Um, quite a barrage of uh, weaponry, including the long range radar. It's not really a weapon, but. Um, Heavy laser turrets, uh, positron beam turrets, 12 of those. Heavy cannon turrets, four. Uh, more uh, uh, fixed uh, positron beam cannons, miniguns, missile launchers. Our speeds are looking pretty good, actually, for the size of the ship that this is. Did have a lot of thrust power on it, though, for sure. Um, and CPU wise, yep. Yeah, um, well, it did, did say um, right when you walked in, it's going to need uh, 10 quantums and 10 auxiliary cores, and that should uh, justify the CPU or, or bring the CPU up above this uh, number here. Uh, maybe I'm not sure by how much, but uh, um, it should be uh, should be clean then. Um, let's take a look at its storage as well here. So. Ah, nicely color-coded and labeled storage throughout. So constructor and deconstructor inputs, extra materials, main output, even the fridges. Oh, look at that, fridge input, output, ammunition 1 through 4. So 4 320K uh, ammo storages. Uh, looks like all of these are 320, I believe. Yeah, so four of those, four of those. So that's at least eight 320s. Let's see what storage trades are. Okay, so these are boxes. Uh, armor and boosters. I would imagine most of those would be boxes too. So I'm guessing eight 320k uh, storage base in here. And then uh, quite a lot of boxes. Really nicely labeled here and color coded too. And again, um, no. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Very cool ship. Awesome work, uh, Annie. And uh, yeah, definitely like that. I'm sure you put some uh, time and effort into this uh, this bad boy over here. Nice. So next here, it's quite a bit smaller, but really cool. I thought this is the. Uh, I'm gonna have a hard time seeing the name. Arag Aragama War uh, Warlock class by uh, uh, Procon Lo Loter. And uh, I thought this was a cool looking uh, body design for a ship uh, as well here. It, uh, I like the uh, general aesthetics of it. This looks like a uh, also a combat ship, but a, uh, a much smaller uh, uh, size class type combat ship than uh, the one we just looked at there. And uh, yeah, I like the uh, the numbering on it too. It uh, has that kind of uh, you know numbered military look going on here. Nice uh, weapon uh, positions over here. Everything looks like it has a good line of sight for firing. I do like this uh, triple uh, triple launcher here on the on the top middle there. Kind of looks like a uh, a big battleship like deck gun. Well, not deck gun, but you know main main. Uh, God, well, I can't even think of that. Uh, <laughs> main main uh, weapons there. Yeah. Nice. Cool looking block work here on the front. Like the antennas and stuff coming out. Definitely has that uh, nice sci-fi look uh, going on here. Uh, right around the back. Cool ship. Looks like we got an entryway there. I was looking for a, uh, uh, 
another entryway but I think you might have to go in there and I bet you there's I'm sure there's something on the bottom here somewhere too to get in yeah right there so let's uh let's hop in this ship here I'm gonna do the light thing again um see what we look like here so oh well instantly into an upgrade room definitely have lighting going on upgrade room shield capacitor charger generators nice so yeah it looks like our three by three oh wait 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 here i'm gonna turn the light here oh we already have a uh we already have a shield so this is all for the uh, the other parts here nice so definitely ready for the uh all the new stuff in the game there are a lot of doors opening and closing right there that kind of freaked me out so we got a gravity generator right there then we come into this uh section here so we got we got a pentaxid tank our main core um a uh, big generator here on the side i like the way that i like the caution tape on the side there that's cool um oh, uh, advanced core extender okay nice so extra cpu so i don't think this uses all the cpu available with the baseline cores obviously but then we've got places for uh looks like quantum or auxiliary core locations over here Engine room oh, i like i like all these uh that's a nice way to do it too putting the lcds right over the doors it doesn't interfere with anything and you know where you're going there so you got some big thrusters over here that always looks so cool when they're uh, displayed like that. And these are big thrusters on this ship too. And we've got, uh, looks like a, our warp core back over here. Why does this look different to me? Does it look, no, maybe, I don't know. That's not a new kind of warp core, is it? I'm probably, no, nah, it's just, yeah, it's a rugged, just the way it's, uh, it's placed in here with all its uh, the housing and everything. That that looks uh, that looks nice. I like uh, the use of these uh, kind of metal framing pieces uh, in the mix there. That looks cool. Nicely lit up. And this is where we came in. So where do we go from here? Oh, here's an elevator. Ah, so we got a medical bay over here. Looks like we got all our uh, baseline medical uh, extra components here, plus the med bay. Nice. A little uh, crew area here. We got some CPU core blocks. Uh, kitchen with uh, your, the nice parts there. Oh, even a, even a TV with some bunk beds over here. Nice. Toilet, shower. Yeah, very cool. Very cool over there. So it looks like it's got pretty much uh, everything here. Um, I am deeply trying to figure out where the, where the pilot seat is, so I must be missing that somewhere. Oh, yeah. Am I missing a uh, way out here? Got a pilot seat somewhere I hear a lot going on every time I walk in this area here a lot of doors and stuff opening and closing so yeah that's where we came in at and it stops right there yeah this opens up for uh, extra parts and then we can walk back here right into the engine room I'm a little dumbfounded on where uh, where the pilot seat, <clears throat> the pilot seat of the ship is. I feel like I'm missing something. Like there's a, a corridor, a hallway, kind of like this elevator on the side here. I missed it at first. Kind of uh, sneaks in there. Oh wait a minute. Oh no, I just didn't go all the way up the elevator. That's it. So we're here. This is two. This is one. Aha! That was easy enough. I'm just an idiot. And here is our nice uh, kind of like secure bridge area here. Looks like we got some blast doors in front, captain's seat, uh, ammunition controllers, control, uh, well, one ammunition controller, one uh, cargo controller really close by here. Got to have some crew. Bridge, yeah, yeah engine room constructor, nice. 
And then over here, it looks like we've got some more utility function here. Armor repair, armor locker, uh, boxes, O2. And, uh, oh, yeah, we got this uh, nice little landing deck over here. Or something pretty small or just uh you can gain ent entrance to the ship here too which is nice i like having that alternative entrance especially a little bit closer to the bridge um so nice yeah slick looking ship here ammo 320 nice <laughs> nice looking radar screen there what's going on oh this is another way oh uh, yeah this is that top top way out okay so really quick uh, way out of the bridge uh again very convenient um you're flying these things around you can get out quick and uh, do your business uh, with salvaging or POIs or shooting aliens on foot or whatever you got to do uh, very nice very nice so uh, here let me uh, let me get out I'll put the lights back on here and we'll take a look at its specs um, so what are we looking at here uh, 13 hour and 7 minute build time uh, size class 2 good thrust power um, so 50 forward, 50 lift, uh, 25 reverse, uh, pretty, pretty decent, uh, barrage of stock weaponry. Obviously it's got room for, um, more stuff, more parts, uh, more, uh, CPU blocks and things like that. So I'm sure you could, uh, customize this, ramp up the shield, stuff like that. Uh, CPU wise. Oh yeah. Look at that. It doesn't even use the uh, the 2.1 million CPU, so it's kind of like a notch under that. And uh, but it has uh, places to add those CPU blocks, so that is cool. So yeah, it's not super uh, pricey on the CPU. You don't need any quantum's or auxiliary cores stock. Um, take a look at our storage. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So we've got uh, 320k ammo, 16k uh, for armor and items, uh, record box, harvest controller at 160. I gotta check this out for harvesting uh, items here. Large fridge, uh, okay, that's gonna be a fridge. Main cargo, 320. Medical repair station, weapons, ammo. Okay, so I believe two 320s. No, well, no, actually, some of these aren't. Uh, yeah, two 320s, plus uh, another 160 for harvest, and then uh, beyond that, I believe just some uh, some standard boxes. Nicely labeled again. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, cool ship. Um, obviously, it's not that big. It's only a size class two, so it's a uh, it's got a quite a bit in the ship, and it definitely looks like a cool like military gunship here, especially like this uh, this setup over here. Uh, Again, I, I was going to say, it looks more like, kind of like a battleship turret or something like that. You know, like a World War II style battleship turret. That's cool. Very nice. Very nice. That's, a, again, this is the uh, 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 Aragama Warlock class by uh, uh, Procon Lo Loader. So next here we got the uh, Goblin CV, and this is by Salusticor. And this is uh, smaller yet. So each one of these, like the first one's really big, second one's uh, quite a bit smaller. This one's uh, makes the uh, the second one look big. Uh, this is a little bugger here for a uh, CV. Uh, really cool though. Kind of looks, uh, you know, it's called Goblin, you know. Uh, got, uh, and it uh, it's like this little uh, this little dude. Obviously, it does warping. And you got our warp core kind of displayed on the front of it here. That's that's pretty slick. It's got that uh, kind of, um, I don't know, kind of kind of ragged look, um, you know, intentionally done with the, uh, the how it's uh, textured, kind of uh, just it's been used for a long time. Wow, that's really small. That is really small for a CV. Our detector sitting off the side here. I like the coloring, um, the green and the yellow kind of mix, and then you got some... Uh, some darker shades of gray or and some lighter shades of gray in the mix as well uh, some nice uh, nicely placed uh, decals things like that very cool very cool yeah it's not very big wow I like this uh, bridge over here too 
I didn't even yeah see that kind of like hanging out below the uh, the main uh, body and uh, yeah it lands on these front uh, blocks instead of landing gear here which is totally fine it means you got your uh, your uh, landing gear back here so the rest of them don't need to be landing gear at all as long as it keeps it level um, if you want it to be level um, but yeah that is cool that is cool all right well I, I don't think this is gonna have too much room inside it I'd be really amazed if it did but uh, here I'm gonna let's go take a walk in here and see what's going on so uh, instant uh, instantly you can walk up to the bridge here oh it's even got the class 4 on the bridge nice oops and nice uh, LCD here oh it's almost like in a different language it's cool I like how that's done huh cool I haven't seen that LCD before it's uh my new one that he made. I like the uh, the caution stuff here. And, uh, again, more in kind of industrial uh, look. And then we're right up to the core here. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. No, we got more. Now we've got a uh, shower over here, fridge, food processor, a uh, place to sit, and ammunition controller. And then we're up into a constructor. And wow, even up above that, we've got a uh, med, med bay. Yeah, so it does have some baseline uh, function in there, you know, like uh, some medical, a fridge, that. I mean, it's really small. I'm not expecting like grow plots or anything like that in here. Just does not have the room. I like how everything is so uh, tight and compact, though. And the uh, like the alternative floor over here, over by the uh, this area, that's cool. It's uh, adds some character to everything here. Oh, and a bunk bed. Nice. Yeah, this is definitely to the point. Very cool. Nicely lit up too. Ah, let's go. Go take a look at some specs on here. I'm just kind of uh, looking at some of these areas and the and the yellow railings back here. That's cool. Yeah, it, uh, cool looking ship. Dinky, dinky, and uh, unusual looking, and I like it. So, yeah, this is a pretty low CPU here, so I think, God, does 200,000, is that nothing, is that no CPU cores, um, or is that a basic in there, I can't imagine it more than one, well, I'm saying, you know, tier one, so I think this is just how much CPU you get with nothing, um, if I'm, if I'm correct on that, uh, so, yeah, it's, it's gonna be cheap. Let's look at the stats here. Uh, hour and 31 minute build time for a CV. That's very low, very low build time for a CV. Um, doesn't look like it requires anything at all um, special. I mean, obviously you're always gonna need uh, like titanium and cobalt and neo for uh, CVs. Uh, specific uh, certain parts like the thrusters and stuff are gonna require them, but I'm not seeing any uh, use of anything beyond that. Um, Estrium or zacosium. Um, and it moves around too. It doesn't have super uh, super powerful thrust, but I mean, look at this. It's a look at the CPU and, and what it's using and how much it costs. Um, it's a, it is a uh, starter CV for sure. Gets you around. Uh, have what you need. You know, um, very nice. Unlock level uh, 12 as well. So it's got a lo definitely a lower unlock level on it here. And, uh, so, yeah, we already looked at the CPU and, uh, storage on here. Uh, so we got a main cargo. Well, 320 on main cargo on it. That's, wait, 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 wait. Let's look at the right CV. Uh, okay, so cargo 80K. Uh, and then another one at 48K and ammo at 16K. And then, uh, other than that, you got your, uh, it's like a, a box, a 16K box and your, uh, fridge. So right to the point, right to the point. Very nice. Yeah, it just it looks like uh, God. There's just certain games that I've played that had ships in it that kind of looked like this. Um, some some ships that looked like this, but yeah, that, that is cool. I definitely like it. It's definitely got that sci-fi look to it. So next here we've got this uh, uh, 
really cool looking miner here and this is the uh, PMW SV uh, Cairo Khufu and this is by uh, and this uh, it's a level 20 heavy miner for reforged Eden by pair 78 uh, and I thought this looked uh, really slick too so obviously yeah uh, SV miner uh, certainly industrial looking I like the uh, the use of LCDs uh, the way the cockpit set up uh, you fit in all those drills plus it's got some weapons mixed in with the drills cool framing down here like these uh, these parts here and then uh, the uh, choice of landing gear as well looks really cool on here and look at all the uh, deco things on the sides here got a couple turrets over there cool look at tail section with the way this uh, this main thruster it's a pretty big thruster uh, one of those uh, larger ones for an SV on the back and uh, oh these are just kind of attached via uh, connectors here it looks like they would swivel um, man wouldn't that be cool if we had swiveling thrusters you could use a lot less thrusters on a CV and have them uh, turn into the direction you want to fly as, as opposed to uh, having uh, uh, thrusters in six directions that'd be really cool save you a lot of CPU that way too uh, <laughs> just say it but I, I, I doubt it would happen but I, I just I, I always I always dream I always dream of, of neat things like that um, I don't know, this looks really cool. A very, very detailed uh, miner. Very industrial looking. Uh, the, the LCD on the side uh, accents it very nicely as well here. We've got, looks like, uh, our detector and a uh, ammunition controller out back here. 1250 for ammo. I'm sure we got a big uh, salvage bay in here somewhere. Yeah, that's cool like the uh the use of the uh the, the decals over the uh the the thin like block body too that uh gives it that nice metally look uh kind of like it's got it's painted and it's got some stripey action going on here i like that and it looks like we got an armored cockpit as well of course we do nice uh well let's take a look here at what's going on so yeah not not breaking the bank on cpu either it's not uh, going to the highest tier um reforge is always a little bit harder to calculate the cpu because these numbers are kind of irrelevant what it's showing over here um but yeah i think you can go to sixty thousand cpu if you put in uh the the basic the two improved and the five advanced cpu cores this is not obviously using all of those uh so it's got uh yeah, it's going to be a little cheaper because of it. Uh, what else do we got? A two hour and uh, 33 minute build time. Um, unlock level 20. That seems to be typical for uh, miners, uh, SV miners. Most of them at least. Uh, it might, might be the laser drills or uh, certain parts on here um, that do that. Let's see here does need some estrium and zacosium here probably for the uh, the drills I would guess and five fuel tanks nice yeah um, let's see what kind of storage we got in you so we got an ammo controller at 1250 and then a harvest controller at uh, 12,800 um, nice Nice. Uh, you know, I just want to take a look at its uh, motion here too. So 54 forward, 92 lifts. Yeah, it's uh, it's thrusty. It's got a lot of uh, a lot of power going on here, which is going to be great for uh, for doing the mining. Uh, 59 in reverse as well, which could could be important if you're mining on the surface and going like direct down. Then you got to pull backwards. You're going to want that reverse thrust. So yeah, very very cool miner. I uh, like the uh, the look and theme of it uh, quite a bit. Uh, just that industrial uh, industrial miner. Nice. So next here we got something kind of big here. This is uh, this is a vanilla, and this is uh, uh, this is going to be another hard name to say. It is the uh, L A H L S P I E S S L. 
man, I've never seen that word in my life. Uh, Elspice? Uh, El Elspice? Man, I, I don't know. I don't even know how to say this name. Uh, but it's the... <laughs> that name, Dash 4, by Barefoot Hillbilly. Now, this is a vanilla creation. I know I'm in Reforge Eden right now, so some of the sp uh, specs are going to be all screwed up. Um, I didn't really want to do, like, a separate, like, side thing for just this one creation. Um, everything else I got today is Reforge Eden. This is one of those that I uh, I seen come out a little bit ago, and I didn't get to uh, to looking at it yet. And I thought it was just really, really, uh, really cool looking design here. Uh, definitely a bigger ship, but I love this uh, this ring thing and this X thing kind of going on in the back here. It gives it uh, I don't know that uh, more legitimate looking uh, spaceship kind of thing. Like these are uh, gravity rings where you could. Uh, have like structures or buildings in, the, in these that rotate around the hall and would have artificial gravity uh, because of the, uh, the the centrifugal force um, in space. So yeah, it's stuff like that that you know I get really excited. In fact, you know I was looking at like some some weird videos of you know people's planned future space stations, and a lot of them are going to be dealing with that uh, same idea of uh, creating artificial gravity by rotating something and having like rooms or the the floor on the uh, the edge of that and that makes a lot of sense to me i don't think i would try to do any future space stations any other way um uh humans just cannot uh hang forever in uh, zero gravity environments it's uh harmful actually to us uh they they have to obviously with the international space station but they do a lot of exercises and you know if you go beyond like a year or two um uh, you're actually taking uh, like potentially permanent damage to your uh, body and things like that, uh, being in zero zero g for that long of a time. So we can fake it out by not having gravity generators, but by just uh, spinning things. So that's kind of an easy solution, really. And this looks like it would uh, kind of do that. However, this ring here actually might be more uh, warp uh, involved because it's not it doesn't have like rooms in it and it's actually not attached. I mean, I'm just noticing that there's no uh, connecting arms here. So I'm thinking this would be uh, something else uh, going on here, sci-fi. Maybe some uh, big warp uh, thing or something like that where this uh, look maybe rotate around this area or not rotate at all. I don't know. It's cool though. It's very, very cool. Let's take a look over here at the front. Let's see what kind of... Uh, oh, yeah, we got some good weapons up here, too. We do have a mix of antennas in the mix, so it's not trying to overdo the weapons, but they could be placeholders for other weapons. I like this uh, this center st uh, stretch in here, too. This has definitely got that kind of cool-looking Star Wars uh, feel to it there. Nice. So I am curious, is there, oh, I think, did I not park this all the way to the ground? Does it park all the way to the ground? <laughs> this might be a space only ship. Well, obviously I'm flying it down here, so. I was just curious if there's a way in the ship from the ground. And I think if, if there were, it would have to have been in this area here. I, uh, I don't see anything. Let me find another way in. So this may be uh, very much a uh, space-only ship, or uh, it would be hard to get in it um, from the if you let parked it on the ground. It might not have the thrust to do that either. We'll have to see. So we got this great big double uh, hangar door over here. Let me uh, convert over to the lighting here. I'm already liking the red accent as soon as I walk in here. Yeah, this looks nice. I like that. Ooh, yeah. Nice, nice use of uh, texture lights in here in these uh, formations too. That that looks pretty cool. And the gray and the red mix. Hmm, nice look. Ooh, like the little things too, like uh, how this uh, how this uh, staircase is kind of like embedded in here. That that looks that's a nice, neat look. Got the railing. So yeah, oh yeah, we've got this uh, big glass floor here. Here. Oh, that is cool. Big hangar doors. Yeah, a good size hangar, too. Well, let's start going this way. 
see what we run into. So we got looks like uh, some sort of central elevator here. Have to remember to come back to that. Uh, we got this big hallway here. This looks this looks nice. Just looking for side rooms that I uh, hopefully uh, don't miss here. Oh, that's a long corridor. I don't see any rooms actually though. I'm kind of looking. Uh, I was kind of curious if there's anything off to the sides here, but not really seeing it. And we go up and down here too. So let's try it down here. So, uh, ah, production area it looks like. So we got a constructor, uh, and it looks like we got a storage box. I just, I said constructor. I didn't actually see one yet. Oh, there it is. Duh. Right on the ceiling. So constructor uh, or construct two, construct one. Probably uh, looks like both of them would have a. Uh, Storage right next to the uh, constructors. Draw. Nice. And what do we got down here? Looks like kind of a hallway wraps back around. I think we're walking through those uh, big front areas that we, uh, the Star Wars looking uh, part here. And that kind of loops us back to this, uh, to the floor below the hangar. Nice. That isn't, uh, looks like there's more, is that open? Yeah, that's not glass there, that's just, oh yeah, there is a glass, glass row down there. We got our Wi-Fi kind of mounted in the center there, and we already been down this hallway. Oh, no, I haven't, but, uh, yeah, looks like that's going to just kind of run out to the front, kind of like the other two, uh, hallways did. Yeah, we came back on this hallway, that's right. Yeah, nice looking. Good, good use of uh, color design on this one. I like, I like that. Uh, the, the red and gray and black look. That looks, uh, that looks pretty nice too. And then, of course, you know, with all the other stuff, you get some uh, different uh, colors in the mix. So some blues and stuff with the part lights and LCDs and other things. So fuel. I like the piping on the side and the uh, the angle the side hall like this and then of course the glass on the other side and a lot of fuel tanks it did say fuel though didn't it it's definitely saying uh, be cautious in this room yeah that's some fuel tanks it's cool how that's displayed then it's uh, going into blue over here for that yeah, in fact, this whole section over here kind of went from the uh, the red and gray to uh, like a blue and gray. Cool little uh, color changes there. Oxygen tank in the wall. This is a big ship, though. I'm probably going to get lost, so just, just be warned. <laughs> I'm trying not to get lost, but, you know, it happens. Um, now we got some CPU core blocks in, in this area. Just kind of looking up here. Obviously, we got the uh, warp uh, warp core up top here. A bunch of other stuff. We got some generators uh, and those uh, boxes there. That's a lot to look at up there. That's cool. So let's see what we got here. Rear observation deck. Engineering is up. And rear. Oh, okay, so we're now we're looking at the back of the ship. A uh, nice little uh, glass area here. So this must be our rear observation deck. And let's uh, go up the elevator. And engineering. So we got our shield over there. Refined pentaxid containment. Nice. Environmental gravity. Very nice. Oh yeah, there's our environmental gravity. <laughs> Very cool. I like the uh, the decor. It's got some uh, different color in here too. I think maybe that's the same tone of red. It's just the the, the different texture, but it looks like it's a different shade. Let's 
So, engineering, okay, I, uh, I came through here, didn't I? No, we're a floor above where I was before. Look at that big cluster in the center here in this big room that houses it. That's cool. Piping, SV docking bay, HV docking bay below, engineering. Let's take this stairway here. So we're back out into hangar section. Second hangar section. Okay, so yeah, this was the uh, main one when we came in, but I didn't even notice this big area up here to park stuff, too. So uh, a bunch of SVs, it looks like, would go up there. And then the HV, uh, this would be uh, considered the HV one. So hydroponics engineering, power delivery systems, HV and main bay, hydroponics engineering. Now let's go in one of these. Okay, so now we're kind of overlooking this. Oh yeah, and our grow plots are along the side here. Nice, and we got this big sealed off. Man, that almost looks like a weird spaceship in itself or like a big engine, like it's all one big piece. Um, that's cool. So we got, yeah, generators, uh, obviously the warp drive in there, uh, some other other uh, decoration and uh, different different blocks and stuff. That's, uh, yeah, it's kind of, that's kind of neat. Almost like you opened up the hood on a car or something like that. It's, that's cool. I love all these ideas. I, I, I get a lot of inspiration from walking through all, um, all these different ships and stuff, too. I mean, certain things uh, here or there, I... I utilize i really like uh, how something's done or it adds to the arsenal you know when you're building out a ship or something like that and you you got memory of you know how something else was done on some other ship or some unique feature like kind of like this to me it might have been done before maybe but i haven't i haven't quite seen it done like this before like this whole uh you know this this like engine sitting in the ship here um so i i think that's pretty cool that'll be uh Add to my uh, my own arsenal if I ever uh, uh, decide to do something like that. It's uh, definitely another option. Um, SV docking pad. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. We're back here again. So let's go in the center. Okay. That just goes down. So actually, we're kind of back over here again. We did walk around this section already. Um, so what I would like to find is the bridge. Let's go back down here. Wow, this is a pretty extensive hangar for sure. It really, it's yeah, it's 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 bigger than you think uh, when you first walk in it. I, well, I guess I was. I didn't even realize how uh, how massive this uh, hangar assembly area was. Um, and I know we walked up here, and this should go to the front of the ship. Um, and uh, I think, how did we get onto that side? Yeah, we don't want to go down that again. Let's uh, get in here. Oh, wait. I don't think I've seen this room. No. Yeah, it's right below that. Alright, I would cheat. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's let's read here. Oh, command control, bridge, teleporter, blah 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 up. Just read the signs, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to myself, by the way. So this floor, yeah, I haven't seen this floor. Oh, that's that looks neat. Look at that. Big glassed off zone and then you're just like ah. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty uh pretty large ship. Uh, did I go down this hallway before? No. No, this looks new. Okay, so we got some crew areas. Monk beds. Nice. I like the way those are uh, displayed. I got in trouble, uh, I get yelled at by Excalibur when I did this, but I like it still. 
Then we got a shower up the stairs there. And our uh, our toilet. Nice. Painting on the wall, TV. Yeah, pretty uh pretty nice crew area. Or crew room. And uh got another one over here. Nice, nice. Oh. So we got, uh, looks like, a, yep. Looks like everybody's crew room is pretty much uh, the same, so no one gets uh, to pick the special one so far. Oh, this one's, this one's different. This one, uh, yeah, different stuff on the ceiling. Got the big couch there. Our shower, and, uh, oh, yeah, look at that. The yin yang bed with the carpet. Nice. <laughs> Nice. So that's definitely a different room. Um, what about this one? You got the yin yang too. Yep, you are the yin yangers up there. They must be the uh, the important people that are that are flying the ship or uh, second in command or something. Uh, well, actually, not necessarily. So officer crew quarters. Uh, there's a can canteen. Uh, ah. And command and control bridge, it's saying up. So now we're above the hay. Oh, look at that. These, uh, the glass matches the glass there. That's cool. Uh, let's go this way. Are we getting, where are we getting to here? So we got our teleporter. And then another staircase. And here we are to the bridge. Nice. Now I think we missed a uh, uh, another area all the way on the bottom of the ship here too. I like this uh, this uh, stairway system going up here. Trust me, I'm gonna get lost. So I'm. <laughs> I don't know. Have I been? I've been kind of lost. I am perpetually kind of lost, but uh, I guess I'm getting my getting my way around here somehow. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. And this, uh, would this be the, uh, uh, I can't, no, let's go all the way to the bottom. No, oh, then we're back down to this area here. So I think may, maybe that is the, uh, canteen out there. Or the, uh, and we got the food, we've got that. Could be. I do fear that I'm possibly missing a room somewhere, though. Um, or more than one, one area. But anyway, very, very cool ship. Um, like the uh, the looks, the colors. Let's get the lights back on. And uh, daylight. Uh, yeah, it looks nice in daylight, too. It does. A lot of room. A lot of room to park stuff. Um... Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at some specs on you. Oh yeah, and there's the bridge. I'm looking through the glass, it goes like piercing right through the middle of the ship there. So looks like we got a 33 hour and 45 minute build time. Size class 17. Yeah, that's a big ship. Um, uh, thrust speeds are, you know, decent. Um, I don't think it's uh. You know what? This is unfair, though. I'm, I'm looking at the stats. This is a vanilla ship. I'm looking at it in Reforged Eden. These numbers are going to be better in vanilla, and that's what it was built for. So this is kind of unfair. I would expect the results to be at least double of what you see here um, on, on this particular ship. So just keep that in mind. Um, and CPU is also going to be irrelevant. Uh, Vanilla CPU, 10 million. Um, this should uh, comply w well within that 10 million range uh, with four advanced CPU cores in vanilla. And that's, I'm pretty sure, what it would have stock here. Um, so also kind of disregard the uh, CPU number. Expect this to say 10 million and that this ship would be somewhere under 10 million. I'm not exactly sure where. Um, I, uh, probably a little bit higher than that, but uh, something, something like that. Um, let's take a look at the storage on here as well. Um, 
So we got an ammo controller, 320k, uh, cargo pellets, uh, another controller, 320k, another 320. And I think maybe that's it. The rest of these look like uh, other items. Um, so I'm looking at, it looks like three 320k uh, storage, like two uh, regular uh, storage bays and one ammo controller. So yeah, very, very cool ship. Yeah, I like this whole design scheme of it. Um, and then the uh, the red and the white and the black uh, go together quite well too. So very, very nice. So next here and last, uh, I know I showed a lot of stuff from this author and this author had a lot of stuff out this week again. Uh, this this, uh, this Ed person has been very, very busy building these uh, these beautiful creations. Uh, so I chose one of what was out this week. Um, and uh, this, uh, this I thought was really cool too. Another miner, um, just done differently. Um, really cool uh, industrial looking miner. Very well detailed, all dirtied up with uh, the decals and stuff like that. Um, but uh, I don't see too many that use these big drills like this. Um, so I thought that was kind of slick. Um, and this is a SV as well. Um, and that was also uh, kind of throwing me for a loop too, because I didn't know those uh, those big drills like that existed for SVs, um, but they they obviously do, and that is that is cool. So that's uh, certainly an alternative. I don't know how these work. I, I uh, played with these big drills on an HV uh, once before on a Scar Creation. I never actually re released. Uh, I w and I wasn't too impressed with them, um, and that's why I kind of never really uh, put that creation out. I, um, but it was not set up like this. It only had two of them and not four, and it wasn't an SV, and that was a long time ago. But uh, I, I guess where I was disappointed, I thought they would have a bigger drill radius, and for whatever reason, when I was testing it, it seemed like it was really tight, again, um, on, the, uh, on the radius of the, the holes that it makes. This looks like a nice space, and I love this... Uh, all this glass and this uh, the way this is organized with the uh, these thin blocks and angle blocks in here and obviously a lot of detail with the LCD and the glass and things like that um, that looks cool though that is a cool looking setup for those big drills it does look like a certainly like a boring machine and uh, I wonder how well this works I you know that is something I would like to know uh, maybe I'll uh, fly this out and drill a hole here in a sec Cool look at uh, set up here all the way around though, and all this, uh, all these uh, thin pieces on the back, the uh, the color changes. Yeah, really cool looking design again. I'm kind, I'm kind of wondering too. I'm not seeing anything. Well, that looks like it would be terribly uh, pricey CPU wise on here those uh those bigger drills i didn't think they were very costly uh compared to like the laser drills i think they were uh the lasers were more we got a warp core definitely on here like the way that's displayed um cool looking hanger let me do the lighting thing kind of a subfloor under here nice looks like we get into an elevator oh wow yeah, looks like this even, uh, you can add in uh, nine grow plots on this one. In a miner, that's pretty good. Generator maintenance area, I like the uh, LCD here too, nice and clean, professional looking. Shower over on the side, fridge, food processor, uh, probably the, uh, yep, the uh, grow light. Bug bed. I was putting a lot in this uh, this little space here. Oh, okay, and yeah, we got our toilet. So I'm a little confused at this block. So there's our toilet block. But then I'm seeing... Oh, oh, this is just a texture. This is just a texture, a tile texture. 
And that's not anything special. Okay, okay, never mind. I just had to figure out what, what I was seeing there. Okay, let's go up the, uh, okay, this is where we came in, and this goes up here. Another level. Wow, look at this. All kinds of information about uh, upgrade possibilities. That is cool. Looks like quite a bit of stuff, too. Um, nice, nice. Another me uh, medical item there. Uh, we've got our gravity generator, our shield, a lot of caution tape around these areas. Yeah, I know all these parts are uh, the radius of hotness or, radi or rads or anything like that. It's really hard to build anything small and not fry the inside of the ship. Um, still have a little bit of, I, I still have a little bit of issue with that. I think it's gone overboard, but um, eh, you know, whatever. <laughs> it works. It really doesn't, uh, it's all on people's opinions on how it should be done. And our pilot seat, and we've got uh, storage over here. It looks like a 277k uh, storage. Yeah, storage bay, and then my harvest bay at 320 on the other side. Did I say this was the SV? By the way, I meant CV um, earlier on. I, I think I just recalled calling this a SV, and this is not an SV. It is a CV. Um, I don't know what I was thinking there. It's uh, it's a pretty powerful one too, actually. This is cool. This is cool. Let's, let's take a look at some specifications on here. Um, what do we got going on here? So yeah, we got some uh, some pretty good thrust power here. Going uh, 60 forward, 53 lift, uh, 27 reverse, size class two. Um, and you got industrial drill modules that's what they're called so they, they have cv drills i kept calling this a sv and i apologize this i don't know what i was thinking i guess some of the parts for some reason maybe because it looked really detailed and it was small uh fairly small i just got sv in my head it's not an sv minor they were looking at a cv minor again apologies on that don't know what i was thinking um and it sits uh, pretty nicely here it doesn't use much cpu so you can go to 2.1 million on a CV on this, and it's only hitting 400,000. So I think that is a basic CPU core only. And here's stock. Obviously, it had a lot of upgrade potential, uh, and it tells you all about that when you walk in there. Um, so not too bad at all. Let's take a look at our storage here. M2 miner. So we've got the... Uh, it looks like we kind of seen most of it. Um, we got a... Uh, container controller at 277. We got a harvest controller at 320. And an ammo box, standard ammo box, 14k. And then a couple, uh, a couple boxes in the fridge on the side of that. So uh, yeah, very very cool. Again, this is uh, one of three different creations I've seen uh, uh, from this author uh, very, very recently on the uh, on the uh, workshop. So um, the others look nice too. Um, I just, uh, I just, just wanted to pick one though. <laughs> one, one, one for this week. Uh, yeah, very, very nice. Yeah, and the uh, sensory guns out the back here too. Very cool. Got some uh, big time lighting. Cool, uh, cool looking landing gear over there as well. Wow. So yeah, that is, uh, that is pretty much uh, what I picked uh, this week. Uh, there's something nearby. I just wanted to kind of fly by here if I can uh, find it. Uh, uh, where was that stuff over? Here? Yeah, this way. Am I going the right way? Uh, north. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. So. Um, uh, Alicia um, was working on building a uh, a uh, different POI out of the uh, the Creel Overseer, um, and uh, I just uh, I was looking at this and uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Basically, like a crash ship POI out of the out of the ship, and it's got various pieces of it laying here and there, like a thruster area over there, and the uh, the front of it and the back of it. And um, other miscellaneous parts. But what I thought was pretty interesting 
um, as well. I mean, this is really cool, and there's a lot of damage blocks and stuff going on. Now, this is a work in progress. It's not finished yet. Um, it's just uh, kind of like heads up to, to see how it's uh, taking place. Uh, but one thing that I found really interesting is um, all this uh, this little blobs here, These uh, this uh, terrain is part of this POI and not part uh, of the ground. And I didn't know you could actually do that. I've seen a couple of asteroid uh, POIs, uh, really nice looking ones too, by the way. Um, but uh, I haven't seen it done for like in this setup before. Um, you know, where this is like a ground-based POI. I haven't seen the use of, like, terrain uh, as part of the POI. So I thought that was really cool, and I didn't even know you could do that. Um, or how it was done, exactly. So, anyway, that is cool. If anybody knows the answer to that, or if uh, Alicia has, happens to be watching this video, uh, I am curious on that. Um... And other than that, the only other news I had is I did, obviously, two days ago now, uh, release this uh, Merc TBM um, to the workshop. I did uh, add in uh, ammo storage. It was something that was lacking when I last showed it. And I, uh, all of a sudden, I was, I was like, close to done with it. And then I was like, oh, I totally forgot ammo. So I had to modify it. That's why it has 21K storage or harvest storage and 1K ammo storage. It used to have 22K uh, regular storage. I couldn't really make it much bigger. I'm just out of room on this uh, creation to add much more in storage because the, uh, I'm not using storage bot, uh, blocks for the uh, outer hull on it. Uh, but that That is about it. I just kind of wanted to show you this and this is a work in progress. Um, uh, new POI uh, being made out of the uh, Creole Overseer and uh, yeah it's, uh, it's well on its way. It's got some uh, new tech uh, again, I haven't seen the uh, the use of like terrain in here, and I'm sure I got this spawn poorly. I'm sure this is meant to be on a planet that's not this pretty grassy, and I think this uh, this texture here on this kind of terrain emulates what the texture of the planet uh, that you're on is, and not and you can't really pick what texture this is going to be uh, specifically. Uh, so on a, like a rocky planet, this would probably look a lot better than it does here where I spawned it. And I kind of like sunk this into the ground a little bit too. It's kind of like a base that kind of holds all this together uh, a little bit below there. So anyway, very, very cool. Um, that's amazing what people do. Um, and yeah, this, this could be an interesting kind of big, kind of uh, semi-indoor, semi-outdoor uh, POI. Uh, sounds uh, kind of interesting. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I've got for today. And uh, today starts uh, Season um, 4 on the Anvil server. And, uh, yeah, this other stuff that spawned here, I was just kind of looking over the uh, the Janus. Uh, I had a, uh, uh, a comment saying, have I updated it for Reforged, uh, for the new version of, like, Reforged Eden? And, and honestly, no. But I was looking at it, and I'm like, I don't know what I would update on it. Um, so I kind of looked at it and then I spawned in a, uh, a version that is uh, all equipped with everything on it and I didn't see any CPU problems or anything so I I guess it's good I don't know what I would really update on it it's not designed to hold new shield capacitors in some of the newer parts um, but you know it's a starter and it's not a combat thing and I don't know um, I guess if you wanted to put in those parts you could uh, try to uh, do some mods on it. Uh, it doesn't really have any room left over to put in more parts. Um, I, I think if I was going to put in shield capacitors or something like that, I might try to fixate and try to put some of that stuff maybe on the ceiling or somewhere out of the way on here. But um, um, I may use this in season four. This might be my uh, uh, first goal after doing some little like tree cutter things and stuff like that, um, and maybe a, a ground turret or two. Uh, cheap ground turret um, for uh, some baseline defense and then uh, uh, I would like to kind of go go with this again I wanted to use it last season too but and it was used last season just really 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 briefly like it was uh, got by other players and then flew it once and then parked it and never used it again <laughs> so um, yeah any, anyway I'm looking forward to that that should be uh, taking place pretty soon I'm uh, this is early morning for me on Friday I meant to do this yesterday I just felt lousy yesterday and i was going to do a video on uh, factory o yesterday too and uh, update video on 
something else, but I was sleeping most of the day, believe it or not. Uh, feeling way, way better today. I don't know if it was a little bug or if I ate something bad or whatever or got just run down, but I was just feeling kind of terrible yesterday and feel way, way better today, and I was hoping that was going to be the case, and it is. So, anyway, you all have yourself a great weekend, and maybe I'll see some of you on the Anvil server uh, today. And uh, you all have, 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 have a great day. Adios.